Hello. Um, thought I'd take a few minutes and talk about an adapter I got here for my DC power supply that's really been useful to me. Uh, I picked it up off eBay. It was, uh, I don't know, $12, $15, something like that. And the name of it is iPower Cables Pro 2. Uh, it's made by, it's got a little company here, I guess, that made it. Uh, Zero SS Team. Uh, it's you know, little cheap device coming out of China, and what it's what it's designed to do is hook it up to your DC power supply, and I got it set to four volts right now. Which normally, when you're charging a phone or something, you're looking at 3.7 volts is what the batteries are ready for, but they generally say four volts uh, when they're fully charged. And uh, it comes with a set of jumpers you can use for anything, and it also comes with leads to hook up to the motherboards of an iPhone 4, 4S, 5, 5S, 6, and 6 Plus. It also comes with a board to be able to charge batteries directly from the DC uh, power supply which is really convenient. What's so handy about this device is a lot of times phones come to you for repair and the batteries are dead in. And so you have to charge the battery before you can even start on them start working on them. Uh, this particular phone right here, the battery is not dead in. I actually got a, a second battery in it right now because when it, when it did come in it had problems and the battery was in it was dead so I just chose to put a battery in that one but what you can do is just hook directly to your phone Turn the phone on, and now you can actually see the amperage that is the phone is pulling, and that's that's very convenient whenever you're trying to repair a phone because you can see if there's any problems with the phone. If you hook this up, if you hook it up directly to the board with no without turning the phone on, and you're drawing amperage, then you got short somewhere. Um, you can take comparisons to other phones to see if the, the amperage is where it should be, which this one is. Um, so it's, it's really convenient in the fact that you don't have to have charged batteries. You can power directly from the DC power supply to work on the phone. If there's an issue with it, you can see what the amperage draw of the phone is. You can uh, you can charge batteries with it, with this adapter board that also comes with it. And it comes with a mini USB port also that you can hook up to Androids. So with this adapter board right here, I've got a four battery here that I know needs to be charged. Um, you can hook directly to the board. And you can see the amperage draw with the batteries pulling, which is really convenient. You can work on the phone and charge the battery at the same time. And it, it speeds the process up. Like I said, uh, it also works with uh, Android devices. You can, uh, if you don't want to disconnect this, you can actually plug directly in the other side of it with USB. And go straight to your phone. because I've done it before. Yeah, there it comes. So you can check amperage draw on Android devices too. And that's probably one of, been one of the most helpful things to me is being able to see amperage draw, see a short immediately when the phone comes in 
if you connect, I wish I had a shorted board here, but when you connect directly to a shorted board, you will immediately see an amperage draw. I'm not sure what that one is. Uh, S board and the 5S and 5C batteries are the same so you can use the connector on either one this like this board right here has zero uh, amperage draw right now so I know that there's not a direct short on the power line on this phone there may be a short somewhere else after it gets on but there's not a direct short causing the phone not to power on so if somebody brings you a device and says it won't power on you hit directly to it and usually if you got a short like that it will kill the battery where this right here will power directly to the board the, the only other solution would be to solder wires directly to the battery points which occasionally I do and uh, run jumpers off your DC power supply uh, again this, this device is it's, it's not a high end piece of equipment uh, the quality seems to be okay. I've, I've used it now for probably six months. I've not had any issues. It's not causing any damage to any boards uh, as long as I've used the DC power supply correctly. Um, so overall, it's a really nice device to add to your toolkit if you don't have one. Uh, it's a lot better than having to always sort of wires to the motherboard if it's just a quick fix or you're just trying to check something really fast. So. Again, I just thought I'd throw that out there to you guys. Uh, let you see what you think about it. And maybe it'll help you out some. Thanks for watching.